So here we have a very simple piece of blended typography using a few uh, of Illustrator's tools. So let's dive in and see how we create something like this. So I've got my blank canvas here. I'm going to start with the type tool. Just going to click, just type out my letters. Let's use the selection tool then to make this bigger. So once we have our original type, I want to make a copy of this. So hold Alt and drag. So once I'm happy with that, I'm going to right click here and I'm going to create outlines. So there we go. And then I will also right click and, and group these. So now I have my segmented letters um, as such, Command Z to go back. So let's focus on the C. Um, I'll move these out of the way. Just bring this to the center. Let's zoom in a bit with Command uh, Plus. Right, switch this now. So we've got um, the stroke is black and what we'll do is we'll add a white fill to this. Um, and let's bring that stroke up a little bit as well. So we use the stroke panel. Um, let's bring it up to a five or a six. So we're happy with that. Okay, so let's focus on this individual letter here. So first thing I'm gonna do, let's grab the pencil tool and um, just double check. If you double click it, you can just make sure that the, uh, the correct, uh, get it as, uh, as smooth as you can. Um, I'm gonna draw out now just a kind of fun, simple kind of wobbly shape. And you don't have to be too precious of this. Make sure that shape connects up. And you can see now, because it's smooth, um, it's, uh, it's a lot easier to work with. Um, bring the stroke down then on this one. So we create more of a, an effect, Let's say like weight one. Um, and there we go. So we've got our two here. I'm gonna use the selection tool to highlight these. Let's go to object, blend, and make. Now, initially this uh, doesn't seem like too much is going on. It's very simple. So we're gonna come back to object, blend, um, and blend options. Uh, now we're gonna select specified steps and I can add or subtract the number of steps that I want depending on the complexity of the shape. If I press okay, happy with that. And then if I come down to object, blend and reverse front to back, now I get the C kind of at the front there, which is great. So this is kind of starting to take shape as you can see. Um, you can also adjust this with the direct selection tool. Um, if you want to kind of mess around and get the angle different, again, you know, there's always ways you can go back and change this. Um, so the next thing I want to do now, as I said, you know, for some people this might be enough, but let's take it a step further. We're going to come back to the pencil tool and I'm going to add uh, a path at the bottom here. We'll create like a kind of curved path. Come back to selection and I'm going to highlight these. And then what we're going to do is go to object, blend, and we're going to replace spine. Now you can see you get the uh, the kind of curved spine effect, which is looking really cool. Uh, and the great thing about this, if I zoom in, if again, if I come back to direct selection, click two or more of these points, I can start to do this, which is kind of really cool. Can really kind of create some uh, some kind of crazy uh, shapes with this, um, as such. So when I'm happy with it, I'm going to press uh, V, zoom out, and I've got my shape here. Now I'm going to make a duplicate of this. So hold Alt and drag, so that uh, if I ever want to go back to this stage, um, I can kind of mess around with it. The next thing I want to do now is I'm going to go to Object, Expand. And I'm going to expand the object fill and stroke. We'll press OK. And the great thing is about this now, it's created the individual shape. So if I um, ungroup, I can then see I've got these individual shapes that I can kind of work with. I'm kind of getting close to where I want to be now. If I group these together, I'm then going to come over to uh, my panel here and I'm going to select the warp tool. Now, this is where we can kind of get really crazy with it. So the great thing about the warp tools, if I click and drag, I can start to create, you know, really kind of elongate and mess around with the shape. It's almost like those ordnance survey maps, you know, the um, the lines you have on there to show the the, the certain depth and height uh, of a, of a piece of uh, of an an area. And I've got my really cool shape here. So then the final thing, then the final touches, um, is we can add some some color to this. So I'll just bring this to center. Remember, this is all grouped together again. 
So if I come to my, um, let's go to my fill, just add the black to this. And then if I come to my stroke, and um, you know, for the for the cyan, I can just drop in the simple cyan color. If I create, uh, I can create my kind of background. Just click and drag out a, a simple rectangle. Right click, arrange center back, and I've got my C there. And the beauty of it is, as I said, you know, if I want to go back in with selection tool um, or the warp tool, I can kind of play around with this um, as as I want. And then finally, then. The last thing is to add, if I take the, uh, if I create a new version of this, create outlines and, and group these, and then I can grab this C here. What I'll do is I'll use the cyan color on this C. Can bring that to the front there. Let's click that one there. And then I can either leave it like that or maybe add a stroke here, make that a bit thicker. That's how you use uh, the blend tool um, and some other kind of tips and uh, simple techniques in Illustrator to create blended artwork as such. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, have fun with your typography. Please subscribe and stay uh, stay tuned for the uh, for the next tutorial.